Today is Mission Sunday, and we are reaching out to our friends all around the world, praying for them and giving an offering to help them. Here at City Impact Church, we are so privileged to make an incredible difference in the lives of so many people all across the globe. Our church family has grown so much that now we are connected across nations, languages, and geographical barriers. No matter our nationality, whether we're poor or rich, we all carry the same heart to be ambassadors for Jesus Christ all across the world. We can make a difference. All of these children are a part of our family. Let's remember to pray for them. I love that together all of us are large enough to make a difference, yet we're still small enough to care. When I'm older, I want to be an interior designer. We want to work together. Then we can design our own houses. Yeah, and it'll be just so nice to do it. I feel like it's such a great job. When I grow up, I want to be a doctor so I can help those in need. When I grow up, I'd like to be a, a zoo person because I love animals. I want to be a famous musician. And why do you want to be a famous musician? It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. Today we're talking all about journeys. Everyone is in a journey in life. And our journeys have lots of ups and downs. Well, the longest journey Mariah and I have been on is our trip to America, like we said last week. Yeah, except something not expected happened. Letitia vomited all over my dad in the plane. While he was sleeping. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway. That wasn't the best way to wake up to, was it? <laughs> Have you guys ever been on a journey? Was it by car, plane, or even a boat? And did anything funny happen? Well, anyway, let's hand it over to our friends for tips for the journey. Hi guys, I'm Micah. How cool is it that it's Mission Sunday today? Missions is all about helping other people in different places. We went on a road trip. We stopped at heaps of new places on the way from Queenstown to Christchurch. We went to visit our cousin Eli. One of my favorite stops was the clay cliffs. It was awesome. It reminded me of walking in the desert. It took us quite a while to get there and we ran along the path. We had to have a couple breaks to get our breath back. Our dad was behind us, encouraging us, just like our Heavenly Father, who doesn't want us to give up. God wants to take us to places we couldn't even imagine in our own minds. When you look up at these clay cliffs, they are magnificent. Of course there are surprises on the way. We saw a spider. God has cool surprises for you. The clay cliffs look like mountains made of sand. They were sharp and tall. When we were walking down, we were so glad we didn't give up. We had to climb some steep hills to get there. When we wanted to give up, our dad would encourage us to beat them in a race. God knows that we can do greater things than we can even do. When the journey's a little rough, just like when we went to Mount Cook and it rained and we walked anyway. God loves it when we don't make excuses and we do it anyway. We finished our road trip in Christchurch visiting our cousin Eli and going to visit. Eli is so brave. We are so proud of him for getting through this rainy season. We are always praying for him. You should pray for him too. Hi. My name is Eli and I actually live in Invercargo but I got a type of cancer called leukemia and now and they said I had to go to the Invercargo Hospital and then Invercargo Hospital found out that I had leukemia and sent me up to Christchurch Hospital. So here I am in Christchurch Hospital. Here's two of the things I don't like doing. One, getting finger picks, which um, they have a perk and they like push the sw a spike into your finger to get some blood. But now I've got a hypnotized, so I don't ever do it. 
And the second thing is a no suit. I hate getting those in, but I'll have to get one in today because last night I spewed it out. Here I am with all of my beads. I've got so many of them because I've been here for quite a while. And the yellow one is one I need to stay in hospital, like I can't go out. And this one is when I'm neutropenic, which means I can't be near other people. And um, this one is where when they put blood into me. And the black one is when they take the blood out of me. And the fish is because I'm far away from home. Here I am and I believe in God. And he, I believe that he has healed me and put faith into me. And I am really strong within him and with the faith. And here I am and I don't feel bad anymore. It's just my sore legs. Bye. I hope you enjoyed listening to my story. Joseph, he was sold as a servant man, taken from the promised land, sent to Egypt where he did his job. A lady blamed him for a crime that wasn't true for she was lying. Joseph went to prison but the story doesn't end. There he met two lovely lads who had these dreams that made them sad. Joseph told them what they really meant. Then the king of Egypt had a dream And Joseph rocked up to the scene Told the king what the dream will mean And God had opened a door Oh! Hey guys! Are, are you here to hear the rest of the story already? Yes! Oh, well, remember, last time we were together I was thrown down a well. Hopeful, right? But don't worry. I'm glad to say that I live to tell the tale. Our story continues. Can any of you guys guess what they did next? No! Of course not. It's too unexpected. They took me out. No, not to save me. To sell me. Yes, that's right. I mean, who does that? takes you out of a well, and then sells you into slavery? <sighs> I'm sure glad people don't do that anymore. Anyway, yes, they sold me to slavery in Egypt. <sighs> the journey was far and extremely, extremely hot. But as if things weren't already bad enough, I was stuck staring at a camel's behind every long step of the way. Yeah! Oh, man. It was very, very bad, because every few minutes, he would let out some gas. <sniffs> oh, there it is. And I would be stuck having to smell it up. <sighs> I think it's fair to say that I was in a very tough spot. Have any of you ever been in a tough spot before? Well, you probably weren't stuck behind a camel's backside like me. But maybe you took a cookie from the cookie jar and you didn't want to tell your parents that it was you. Don't worry, because God is in control of every situation. Trust me, <laughs> I know. God was so good to me, as even though I was sold into slavery, I ended up being a servant in Potiphar's palace. Wah! I know, what a twist. <sighs> I loved it there. But there's always got to be a button there somewhere. Hmm. 
My master's wife lied and told him that I had done something terrible. So I was taken to jail for something that I didn't even do. Why? Brings back tears even thinking about it. <sighs> I really didn't think that it could get any worse than the well. But wow, it sure did. However, I kept trusting that God was in control. I did stay in prison for many years, and yes, there were rats. <laughs> Lots of rats. But when I finally came out of prison, I looked a bit like this. Let me just go get it. <sighs> I looked a bit like this. I sure got old in there, but when I finally came out, I was put second in control of Egypt. Yes! <clears throat> ah, that's better. Anyway, ah, being second in control of Egypt, man, everyone bowed down to me, just like the dream that God had given me. Things just got even better from there. My brothers came to Egypt, and they bowed down to me too. You see, God's dream that he gave me, it never got lost. God kept his promise to me. My brothers were so sorry for everything that they had done, and I forgave them and invited them and my father to come live with me in Egypt. Ah, what a great ending. I think it's time to celebrate. Celebrate good times, come on. Let's celebrate, come on, sing it with me. Celebrate good times, come on. Ah, I love a good ending. Wow. What an adventure we went on today, from wells to prisons to palaces. Remember kids, never give up on your dreams, no matter how lost they may seem. Hope we can have another great adventure sometime soon. Bye! Our family's dream was to move to a farm. But we didn't know how that could happen. We needed a miracle! about the sheepies! At the farm, I'm excited about the goats! Hi guys, it's Aria and today I'm going to be answering one of your guys' questions. Today I have a message from At Singing and Winning 45. They say, Hi Kids Church, our school play is coming up and I auditioned for one of the main parts in the show. I was so excited as I thought I did a really good job. I practiced my song so many times, did my very best, very best learning the lines, but didn't get the part. They put me in the background as one of the chorus. I really thought that I would have been picked for a main role, but now all I'm doing is singing in the background. What should I do at singing and winning 45? Don't look down on yourself. It doesn't mean that you're not good at it. Maybe that particular role didn't suit for you. Certainly don't quit. God has put special events in our lives for us to learn things from. Take what you've learnt and try again next time. Don't give up. Bye. Life can have its ups and downs. It is a funny thing. Keep breathing. <laughs> You'll find the glue right over by the swing. Amy, where's the swing? Here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go! Let's go, Amy! Go. I found it! A super kid shows kindness, no matter how she feels. The next clue's where we keep the things that mostly have two wheels. The bike! The bike! Oh, let's go! Life can be tough, as all journeys are. You'll find the next clue over by the spa. Oh, the spa! It's over there! Let's go! <laughs> are you ready for a challenge? How brave and strong are you? You have to get down on hands and knees before you find your next clue. What? Oh. <laughs> go. Go, 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 go! Like a sea 
seesaw, it can be up and down. Run up the stairs three times now without showing a frown. Oh my goodness, no frown! No frown! No frown, okay, okay you're done. Sound you go. <laughs> I'm still smiling. You did it, well done, you're nearly oh. there. The next clue's <laughs> at the front stair, what? Oh, Charlotte, you have it. Charlotte found it. Okay. Okay. Her persevere leads, perseverance leads to treasure and a life that is stable. You'll find your reward inside on the table. Inside on the table. We have a cake as our prize. Wow. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! We did it. Woo-hoo. Whose birthday is it, guys? Amy. Amy. She's not here. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, to you. Happy birthday dear Amy. Happy birthday to you. Hooray! Hooray! My name is Deshane Duplessis and two years ago I had the dream of competing in the New Zealand National Figure Skating Championship. I started skating when I was around 10 and I skated for about three years doing lessons and practices. I took a two year break when our family moved away from the rink and I started skating with Isabel as our ice dance partner. is about guys and two years ago I had a dream to compete at the New Zealand Ice Figure Skating Championships. I started ice skating when I was 12 so almost six years ago now. Um, I skated by myself for two years and I wasn't making much progress so I was really scared of falling over and what people would think of me if I did and it ended up that my coach told me that it wasn't worth my parents money coming to the rink anymore and that I should just give up. So I carpooled with Isabel to do lessons together and after a while our coach decided to put us together to do a program in the Christmas show and then we enjoyed it so much that we decided to form an ice dance team. We've been skating together for three years with a new dream of representing New Zealand internationally next year. We generally practice four times a week on ice and we also have a gym session together once a week. So after a little bit of time and a lot of hard work we actually managed to qualify for nationals. And when we got there we were super nervous about how we would do but in the end we ended up skating really well and we ended up coming first and we got these. My favourite scripture is 2 Timothy 1.7 For God hasn't, has not given us a spirit of fear but of power, love and a sound mind. Um, I really like this scripture because um, I struggle with fear and of like hurting myself if I fall over. So this scripture always reminds me that fear is not from God and that I shouldn't believe or given to something that's not from God. My favorite Bible verse is Jeremiah 29 11. It says, For I know the plans that I have for you, plans to prosper you, and not to harm you, but to give you a hope and a future. This is a message straight from God, and it's telling us that He really does love and care about us, and He's working all things for our good. Thanks for listening to our story. We hope you find it inspiring. See ya. Bye. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make some delicious hokey pokey. So we're going to need three things. We need some baking soda, sugar, and golden syrup. Oh, and we need a spoon to measure. So the trick with this is you need to keep it on the heat until it's the perfect temperature. So I've got the golden syrup and the sugar on the heat now and as I stir, um, just want to tell you guys that sometimes it's easy to think that successful people got that way overnight, meaning that, you know, it just happened luckily to them or they just stumbled upon success. But like a lot of things and like this um, hokey pokey, you have to be on the heat for quite a while and taking every little opportunity that God has for you on the way. Oh wow, that looks so cool. Pour it into here. Did you guys see how quickly that baking soda puffed up this mixture? 
And often in life, the end bit is what people see. Joseph had to go through a journey. He went from the pit to the palace and then to prison. Life is a journey, but it's worth it. Look at this gold. Oh, hello, Mrs. Bunsen Burner. It's nice to have you back here. How was the ski trip? Oh, it was good. Oh, oh, you seem to be hurt. I am. I've hurt my collarbone. Oh, what happened? Oh, I was skiing down the mountain. Someone crashed into me, but that's all right. Oh, have you seen the doctor? I, oh, don't mention it. I'm quite upset. Oh, what happened? Oh, well, I broke it, and now it's not even fixed yet. Oh. <gasps> Oh, so could the doctor not see what was wrong? Well, I had one x-ray and then the next x-ray and they said it's exactly the same. Oh. But I've been lying on my back for weeks. Oh, you see, oh, I see what's happening there. You see, what? even though the bones come together yes? and heal, it's not until the calcium enters the bones that you can see it in the x-ray. So you're telling me it is healing and the Yes, exactly. It, it just oh. takes a little bit of time before the calcium oh. comes. But I must be more patient. Thank you, mm. Professor. I was so looking forward to seeing you. I knew you'd have some exactly, reason to hope. You know what? The same is with us kids. Yes. You know, we may have dreams in our hearts and, and they don't seem to be coming to pass, you know? And we seem to be waiting and waiting. But know that God is there in the background bringing the calcium in our dreams. Oh, He's going to make them come to pass. This is exciting. It's very you exciting. You might want to be a rugby player or a fancy right. ballerina. That's right. You've just got to Keep practicing, don't you? Enjoy the journey and exactly. be in faith and have patience. Thank you, Professor. That's what we're talking about today. J is for journey, isn't it? It is. We're all on a journey. Yes. I'm going to have faith. God is healing this and I'll be patient. So you be patient. God is going to see these amazing dreams come to pass. Yep. Thanks, Professor. Oh, my pleasure. Faith and patience. How exciting. Oh, I love it. Well, we love you, kids. Yes. Have an awesome week. See Take you. care. Bye, guys. Joseph told the Pharaoh's dream, and Pharaoh, he was really keen for Joseph to be ruler of the land. Egypt lost a lot of food, but Joseph, he knew what to do. He set aside some bread and grain so everyone could eat. All his brothers with an empty hand made the journey through the land to buy some food for families back at home. Joseph saw his brothers there, they apologised and wept a tear. Joseph reunited with his brothers, his father and his family and everything was well. Well, we're all on a journey, aren't we? Well, God has awesome plans for you guys, but it all starts with a relationship with Him. So if you would like to be in relationship with Jesus and start your journey, you can say this prayer with me. Let's say it together. Dear Jesus, I thank you that you love me. I thank you that you died on the cross for me. I'm sorry for everything that I've done wrong. And I pray that you'd forgive me. And I'd ask you to come into my heart. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow, guys, that was such an awesome decision, guys. I'm so proud of you. Well, I have three tips that will help you with your journey with Jesus. Number one is to pray. Number two is to read your Bible. And number three, is to attend a cool church. Find one that has a cool kids church, just like us. Anyway, I think it's time for a praise break. See you, kids. Have your way in me. 
for you All about how the world got flipped, turned upside down I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there I'ma tell you all the story, how we ended up here Yeah, come on kids, get comfortable It's about to get good, MC more In a garden called Eden, they were born and raised Just hanging with God for all of the days Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool too Adam and Eve broke the only rule Then a couple of bros ended up in no good Cain killing Abel in the neighborhood They were kicked from the garden and then God said A flood is on the way cause the world's been bad No worries, Ox saved his family and so man lived on Soon Babel had the tower that was tall and strong They built up and up just as high as they could So God mixed up the words no one understood Abel will be a nation that outweighs the stars Isaac come and clutch with the ram of the last We've heard about Jacob, now we're finally here Ended with Joseph and his multicolor flair <laughs> 